Hello, this is Ryan from Fortress Grand, and today we're going to give you a quick rundown of the exempt applications property, which is found inside of Clean Slate underneath Allowed File and Registry Operations. Exempt applications is similar to writable folders and files in that anything that is listed inside of here will write directly to the Windows environment opposed to our cache, except the major difference is uh, you're going to enter executables inside of here opposed to directories. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, an instance when this would be used is, uh, say you have an antivirus that runs updates, uh, but it writes it in directories all over the place. So we would go ahead and list the installed directory for that antivirus, and then uh, it would be able to update, and it would be able to save the updates and run the updates without Clean Slate touching at all. Uh, this can also be used for certain programs that will write outside of their own uh, directory. It will do the same thing. It will let them write to wherever they need to. It will let them read from wherever they need to, and we will not clean up the changes. So a quick example of this, we're going to go ahead and click the items, click here to add an item button, and we'll just type out the install directory. For the purposes of this video, I will go ahead and list C program files fortress grand and clean slate 6.5. Uh, you won't have to do this. This is just a quick example since I don't have any antivirus or any other applications on this computer. But what this now says is, hey, Clean Slate, let's be hands off of C program files, Fortress Grand, Clean Slate 6.5. Uh, when that runs, if it has to write somewhere, or if it has to read somewhere, or if it even has to delete or do things somewhere else, go ahead and let it do that. Uh, an example. And uh, for an antivirus, it would be the same thing, except it would be C program files, whatever your antivirus's directory is, and then it's executable. Uh, it's as simple as that, just clicking and adding whatever you need to add, and just like all other properties, going to apply and OK, and file and save, and those changes will be uh, on the record there. Uh, keep an eye out on the YouTube page for some more videos. Uh, thanks, and have a good day.